Welcome to the LeapFrog BI Academy video series on dimensional modeling. In this video, we're going to be touching on a very important topic, the Enterprise Data Warehouse bus architecture. And before I get started, I want to mention that there's no way in this short video that we will do justice to this very big topic. So please go out and um, use one of the many available resources to um, expand your knowledge beyond what we cover here today. So the, the bus architecture is, um, it's a way of taking individual data marts and combining them in a way that forms an integrated data warehouse. And by an integrated data warehouse, what we mean is that we can pull data from one, two, three, or a number of individual data marts and be able to form uh, or create a report or uh, analytics that um, utilizes that data um, in an integrated way. In other words, I can pull sales data by product, I can pull inventory data by product, and when I pull that data, I know that the sales product is the same as my inventory product. This obviously relies on conformed dimensions. I have to know that, again, my product is the same in each of the different data marks that I'm pulling data from, so the conformed dimension is, is critical to making this approach successful. We're going to take a look at a bus matrix. Uh, this is just a tool that's used to describe the uh, cross sections of, of reference data or dimensions by uh, the different subject areas. So let's jump in here and talk about the bus architecture. Whenever we started this video series, we, we first tried to define what the dimensional modeling technique is. But before we could do that, we had to define what a data warehouse is. And this is a, a diagram that we use to help describe what the data warehouse topology looks like whenever we take a dimensional modeling approach. You can see we have individual subject areas across the top, each feeding into individual data marts. But then those individual data marts plug into a bus, which then forms the whole data warehouse. For us to be able to take individual data marts and report on them in unison, pull data from multiple data marts um, to create a report, we have to know that the reference data is the same in each of those marts. We have to know that date is the same regardless of which mart I'm pulling from. Product is the same regardless of which mart I'm pulling from. This is the bus architecture. Having a, a, um, a way of plugging those marts into a single bus is what enables us to create an integrated data warehouse. Otherwise, we end up having individual data marts that aren't plugged into a bus, meaning they are, they're just siloed pieces of data that know nothing about each other. When we do that, we, we're not um, too far removed from, uh, from the source systems themselves, which obviously don't know anything about each other, so there is no common reference data. All right, so let's talk quickly about the bus matrix. This is a very simple diagram. On the columns, we have our dimensions, which are, here we have product date, location, customer, employee, and supplier. And on the, on the rows, we have our different subject areas, our business processes, such as sales, weather, and inventory. The cross section of these, these rows and columns creates a matrix that is, is very powerful when we're trying to communicate. We can see that the product dimension here is reused across two different subject areas, sales and inventory. We can also see that weather is at the date location grain. Having a simple diagram like this or a, 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 a table like this helps in communicating immensely. You can just simply have this and your, um, your agile planning meetings or your technical planning meetings, whatever it might be, and very clearly see what it is that exists today or what it is you're trying to um, extend. So I strongly recommend utilizing the bus matrix. Whenever you have a bus matrix, you can then see how the reuse of, of dimensions becomes very important, such as here we have a, a sales fact table that's related to uh, several different dimensions. We add another fact table now we're reusing our date and location dimension. We had a third fact table where we're reusing several of those dimensions once again. 
It's this reuse of dimensions or conformed dimensions that actually forms our bus architecture, which enables us to create an integrated data warehouse through the use of individual or the combination of individual data marts. Okay, so again, this has been a very quick video. Uh, uh, go out and, and please um, read more on this topic, uh, which is critical, again, to the whole bottom-up approach to data warehousing. But I do want to leave with a few uh, topics that I believe are important. First of all, spend enough time planning. Uh, create your bus matrix. Create your data models. Understand what it is the business needs before you go out and try to build a data mart even, much less the, the entire data warehouse. Secondly, uh, use the bus matrix. Make that a, a cornerstone uh, to your individual processes. Have the bus matrix at your planning meetings. Have the bus matrix whenever you're talking about building a new mart so that you know what's being reused and what additional dimensions need to be added, for example. Of course, always conform your dimensions. Make sure that you're not going out and uh, creating another version of a dimension that already exists, be sure that you're conforming. It's a, it's a very, it's, it's just a simple, it's a cornerstone of, of the whole approach. If you're not going to conform your dimensions, then uh, you're really not creating a data warehouse, which is fine if, if that's what the, the goal is. But if you do want to create a data warehouse through the integration of indiv individual data marts, then you must conform your dimensions. Of course, designed to meet business needs. Don't go out and pull all data that comes from a source system just because the data exists. Make sure that you're designing your data warehouse in a way that actually meets specific business needs. There's a quote from uh, Bill Inman that goes um, something like this. You can catch all the minnows in the ocean, stack them together, and they still uh, do not make a well. And that's very true, but on the other side of the coin, um, I believe when we're talking about agile data warehousing um, in combination with the dimensional modeling technique, we actually want a lot of agile minnows. We want to take a lot of small units of work, uh, such as data marts, and be able to, uh, say, refactor an individual data mart or add an individual data mart without um, directly impacting the whole uh, data warehouse. So for that reason, I add this, this simple point here that we want actually want to have a lot of agile minnows. Let's not try to go out and create the whale. Okay, so this has a, uh, been a very brief, although longer than typical video um, in our dimensional modeling series. We talked about the, the uh, enterprise data warehouse bus architecture. Please go out and read more um, on this topic. Hopefully we've given you enough here to um, at least present the topics um, and uh, enable you to um, to move forward with your your own dimensional modeling designs. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next videos.